Ms. Bertiman here. Today we're going to be reading and writing multi-digit numbers. Here's what we'll need for today's lesson. Let's begin. On our place value chart, let's write 1,708. What is the value of one? The value of one is 1,000. What is the value of seven? 700. What is the value of zero? Zero tens. What is the value of eight? Eight ones. What is the value of 1,708? The value is 1,708. So 1,708 is the same as 1,000 plus 700 plus 8. Let's write this as a number sentence now. Please write the following number on your place value chart. Then show the value of each digit on the bottom of the place value chart. Why is there no term representing the hundreds? This is because the zero stands for nothing. So if I added a zero to this number, it wouldn't change the value. Let's write an addition sentence to represent 27,085. Please say the addition sentence with me. 20,000 plus 7,000 plus 80 plus 5 equals 27,085. You said 27,085. What do you notice about the way that I wrote the number in word form and also the way that I wrote it in standard form? We can see that there is a comma after 27 in both word form and in number form. Please read this number with me. 270,850. You'll notice that everything you say, you can write in words. The comma here helps to separate the numbers in the thousands from the numbers in the hundreds, tens, and once. Let's write this number now in our place value chart and then write the number in expanded form.
Let's read the number sentence together aloud. 200,000 plus 70,000 plus 800 plus 50 equals 270,850. Please read this expression here with me. 700,000 plus 8,000 plus 500 plus 70 plus 3. Use digits to write this number into the place value chart. My sum is 78,573. Is this correct? Ah, my seven is in the wrong place. Here, the seven has a value of 70,000, but its actual value is 700,000. Next, write the number in words. As you do, remember to think about the correct use of commas and hyphens. Let's say this together. 708,573. Excellent work today. Let's move into our problem set now. For your lesson four problem set, your must do problems are here on the screen. Go ahead, set a timer or a watch for 10 minutes and complete those problems. If you have any additional time, Feel free to work through any other problems on the problem set. For today's lesson, we read and wrote multi-digit numbers using based on numerals, number names, and expanded form. Remember to check in with your teacher, and I'll see you soon for another Eureka Math lesson. Bye!